O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? My wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 152. You get the NASDAQ up three. S&Ps are off 28. Gold contract down $32 trading, $18.96 an ounce. Silver off a buck, $24.26 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 85 cents trading, $40.28 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note up 10 ticks trading, 139.07. The 30-year up 26 ticks at 175.06 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 459 ticks, trading 93.524. The euro is at 117. The yen is out here at 105 and a half. And the British pound is at 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get a sideways market out here uh, after a big market day yesterday, folks. You take a look at the SPY. The SPY uh, right now is down two bucks. You're trading 350, 34, bottom line. You get 55 million shares uh, as you're backing down. Yesterday, we went up with 80 million. Uh, looks to me like it's just taking a rest at this particular point. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. What do you have with the NDX 100? Same type of setup in the NDX. Uh, NDX got down on price point today about 293.11. Right now, you're at 294.92. And it's all about Apple inside this NDX out here today. So you can see that the correlation is pretty amazing, actually. Um, at one point, Apple was down four bucks. Uh, that brought the market uh, down into lower levels. Uh, it looks like at this particular point, we just uh, Apple just went from a price point um, at 10 minutes or two. We were at uh, 119.65. Bottom line brings it all the way back up to the uh, 121.69. And we'll see whether it can hold that price. Uh, the 129.46 right now, right where we are in Apple, is the crucial coming into the close. Because if it can't hold that, uh, what we do have down at the 119.65 is a high volume low. Now, what you have happening here with Apple is this: at that level, folks. Okay, that was the it was the end of an ABC structure on the way down. That was the price projection. You can see uh, the A point on this was 124.74, which is established at 11 o'clock. Your B point was 120.78, which you get four bucks. Four bucks off of the 123.68 is 119.68. And guess what? We went to 119.65. Now, that being said, what ends up happening is that when you come down like that and you do have a high volume low, the probability is that you can get back to that level. So this is why this uh, 121.46, when you are looking at Apple, is so crucial. We go and we take a look at the uh, gold contract. So they smoke gold down here, got gold going down into the price point of 1889. Uh, that being said, when, it, when we're dealing with that 1889, you get 256,000 contracts. Well, we're going into, let me just pull this up here so you can see this. If you can put the chart up, Al, I, I can see the charts. The charts are com coming across. If you put the, uh, on 923, folks, okay, uh, the bottom line is that you came down here with 412,000 contracts. Today, you come down at 256. So bottom line is that you are coming into that area. You do have lighter volume when you're coming into that area. And this is going to be all about the good old King Dollar. As we go over to King Dollar, what you're going to see out here, folks, is that uh, King King Dollar caught a bid out here today. Um, it looks like the bid is going to hold. Let's just see. There we go. The bid right now, we're at 93.534. Uh, to get in, the, you got to get over 93.991. That's the real bottom line. That's what has to get over, and that's an order to hold a higher price. You know, we'll see if uh, it can do it. Uh, there's, there's no doubt that they've had a good day out here today. 
uh, it matched the down day that it had on Friday. On Friday, we had come down from 93.588 to 93 flat. Uh, today, you go from 93 flat and you go up to uh, 93.597. Some of the higher volume equities out here in this marketplace, and this is going to be a light volume market again, uh, once again out here today. We have uh, Apple is the is the big dude out here. Apple right now is down 270. You got uh, Carnival off 115. Citigroup is down 214. Now Citigroup came up with numbers as well as uh, J.P. Morgan. Numbers weren't bad, but uh, bottom line is that the market didn't treat them well. Um, you get uh, Tesla is up uh, 430. Wells Fargo is down 88 cents. You get Walt Disney up 423. Let's see what's happening with Disney. Disney got quite a bump up here today. Okay, so Disney, look at this. Yeah, Disney got some action going here. So what was this all about? Yeah, they're really, they're just buying it. That's the bottom line. That's that's the bottom line out here. Uh, Amazon. We go over to Amazon. What do you have with Amazon? This is uh, the beginning. Uh, today is day one of Prime Day. They're going to have two Prime Days, of course, today and tomorrow. Uh, up another $14. Amazon right now is trading $34.57 and $35.52. That's the high out here on Amazon. Uh, bottom line, there's no reason that uh, it's not going to get uh, whacked. Yesterday, uh, Amazon did 8.3 million shares, and that's going into high with 3.9. We did come down with 8.1. But the bottom line is that when you're pop, popping higher and you have that kind of force like we did in Amazon yesterday, that's telling me that that high is going to get tested of that uh, 3552. And that's been quite a move since the last low that we had at 2871. Amazon uh, just moves by... Uh, huge amounts, folks, uh, on a continual basis. Microsoft, let's go take a look at Microsoft. Uh, yesterday, you had them all going uh, topside with volume. Microsoft's up another three bucks. You're at 224 right now. And Microsoft looks like it's going to go whack a tie, too, which is at 232. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up, no, trading down 140. NASDAQ is up 18. SP is down 16.